Number 10. The Wrong Leg An elderly man was at hospital in Austria when doctors told him that he needed to have surgery to remove one of his legs. This man was 82 years old at the time of his operation, which was necessary to prevent an infection that could have killed him. According to CNN Health, the patient was suffering from several different medical conditions on both his legs. At 82, he still had a lot of life left and was willing to lose the leg to live for another decade, so he agreed to rush and have the procedure. Here's where the doctors made the worst mistake of the elderly man's life. Human error caused the doctors to amputate his right leg above the knee. That wouldn't be a problem, except for the fact that they needed to remove his left leg. They switched legs and accidentally cut off the wrong one. According to a statement from the Friedstadt Clinic, it was all because one of the hospital workers accidentally put a pre-op mark on the wrong leg. The doctors didn't bother to double check and amputated the wrong limb. That's not where the story ends either. Still, he needed to have his left leg removed or the infection he was suffering from would kill him. The doctors had to quickly perform surgery to remove the correct leg. When all was said and done, he was left with no legs and incredible psychological damage. The surgeon who was on duty that day is not working as of right now, apparently taking leave at their own request. It's likely they're embarrassed or at least a little ashamed. Number 9. Wife Killer In Massachusetts, a well-respected surgeon has gotten into some serious trouble. Police in Dover erected Ingolf Turek and charged him with the murder of Kathleen McLean. Kathleen was the mother of three who vanished the week before her husband's arrest. She went missing on Thursday and her corpse was discovered by police on Saturday. Kathleen and her husband had been together for two years when they got married last December. Ingolf already had two teenage sons and was a famous doctor specializing in robotic and laparoscopic surgery having to do with urinary obstructions. Basically, he specialized in urology. But the surgeon had already been getting into some trouble before he killed his wife and dumped her body. In February, he was terminated from the St. Elizabeth Medical Center for billing the Medicaid program for surgeries that he never performed. He was a total fraud. He also allegedly beat up his wife when he got home from a hard day at work. Kathleen had complained to the police about the abusive behavior, saying she was trying to get a divorce. She said that after her husband lost his job, she was scared for her life every single day. Eventually, Kathleen did get a restraining order against her husband and was able to file for divorce. But that didn't stop him from attacking her, cutting her with scissors, and occasionally strangling her. By May, Kathleen lifted the restraining order and got back together with her husband. Shortly after that, he killed her, threw a limp body in a pond, and pretended like nothing happened. Number 8. Dropped on the Floor Jeanette Shields was taken to the hospital for gallstones. At 70 years old, she was having a bit of a tough time going to the bathroom by herself. When she was at the hospital, she buzzed the medical team to help her take her to the toilet, but nobody responded. When she tried to go by herself, she fell down and broke her hip. But that's not even the bad part of the story. The hospital went ahead and repaired Jeanette's hip, with the surgery going off without any hiccups. After the procedure, the doctors dropped her from the operating table. They literally killed her. When the doctors dropped her, she cracked the back of her head on the floor and sustained serious head trauma. From that point, her condition deteriorated until she passed away just a short time later. This unfortunate incident happened in the United Kingdom. According to the woman's husband, the hospital only agreed to do a post-mortem examination to see the exact cause of death after he demanded it. And now, the hospital is wrapped up in an ongoing evaluation and nobody has been blamed yet for her tragic death. Number 7. The Worst Doctor Ricardo Cruciani was the worst doctor. Not only that, he was a complete scumbag. The things he did as a doctor are hard to believe and sickening to hear. Ricardo worked at the Israel Medical Center in New York and had a reputation as being a great pain physician. He was described as warm and charming, the kind of person you would never expect to abuse somebody. And yet, he was running a scam in which he got women addicted to pain medications to the point where they were dependent on his prescriptions. Then, he had become sexually aggressive in front of his patients and refused to give them the drugs that he had got them addicted to unless they did things for him. And if the women refused, he would refuse in turn to refill the prescriptions. He would go so far as to force them into opioid withdrawal 
until they came crawling back to him offering sexual favors. Amazingly, Ricardo got away with this for decades. Whenever the complaints about him started to pile up, he would simply move to a new job at a new hospital in a new state. It wasn't until 2017 when he finally got charged in Pennsylvania for sexual assault. It was then that his medical license was taken away, but he's yet to be locked up behind bars. He's still facing criminal charges in both New Jersey and New York, but he's roaming free because he was able to pay the $1 million bail. Do you think Ricardo should be allowed free because he was able to pay such an exorbitant bail? Or should he be locked up for life? No exceptions. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. The Doctor and the Angels A doctor from Connecticut tangled himself up in an illegal opioid scheme. When he got busted, he then managed to tangle himself up in a murder-for-hire scheme by trying to hire a hitman with the Hell's Angels to take out a witness that wanted to testify against him. Anatoly Brailovsky got arrested in June of 2020 for illegally distributing prescriptions. To put that in simple terms, he was using his status as a doctor to distribute opioids to his patients for cash. He would trade cash for a prescription for drugs. Unknown to him, as he was participating in this drug dealing operation, the DEA was getting complaints about his prescription habits. The main complaint came from the eyewitnesses in the case, somebody that the doctor knew but who hasn't been named for safety reasons. Anatoly posted bail of $750,000 and was ordered to stay at home. But in a desperate attempt to have the case thrown out, he called up a friend who he thought would know somebody in the Hells Angels. He asked this individual to get one of their biker gang buddies to either intimidate or kill the witness. Naturally, the friend went to the police instead of the Hells Angels and together they set up a sting operation. Anatoly was caught red-handed trying to hire an assassin that happened to be an undercover agent. He's now facing charges for trying to kill somebody and for being a drug peddling doctor. Number 5. Fatal Dosage In a short time span of just three years between 2015 and 2018, an Ohio doctor murdered 25 of his patients by giving them fatal doses of pain medication. His name is William Hussle and he had been working as a critical care physician at Mount Carmel Health in Columbus. He killed people by injecting them with upwards of 500 micrograms of fentanyl, way over what is considered to be a lethal dose. Each kind of murder carries the possible sentence of 15 years to life. With 25 of them piled up, we can only hope he's never getting out of jail. But why did he kill so many people when he was a successful doctor? We don't actually know what his motivation was. William's lawyer made a statement saying that he never intended to kill anyone and was not performing mercy killings. Nonetheless, he did kill 25 people, and that is not an accident. He is currently trying to wriggle his way out of the charges by any means necessary, so he'll probably never actually admit why he was injecting innocent people with lethal dosages. Number 4. Too Many Patients An Italian doctor has been accused of murdering patients with COVID-19 by injecting them with lethal doses of anesthetic during the coronavirus outbreak in March of 2020. At the time, Carlo Mosca was the head of the accident and emergency at the Monte Cari Hospital in Lombardy. Prosecutors say they administered two types of anesthetics to coronavirus patients when it wasn't necessary. Two of his victims include Natal Bassi and Angelo Pelletti, both of whom died under his care. A complaint was made against Carlo Mosca in April through a WhatsApp text message, accusing him of purposefully administering these anesthetics so that he could free up beds in the hospital for other patients. In the insanity that happened back in March, it's understandable to see why a person would do this. The hospital went from taking care of patients with individual problems to an endless string of people sick from the virus. It became a burden to everyone, but Carlo Mosca just couldn't handle it. He's also been accused of faking health records to make patients seem as though they were terminally ill so that he wasn't under suspicion. As of right now, he's been placed under house arrest while investigators try to put together a case against him. He says that the allegations are baseless, but those who work closely with him believe he's a cold-blooded killer. Number 3. Black Magic Doctor In India, the police arrested a doctor who murdered his wife by injecting her with a high dose of drugs. The arrest was only made nine months after she had already died. According to the cops involved in the arrest, the murder was far more than just an angry doctor killing his wife. 
it was actually part of a black magic ritual. The killer is Dr. Chana Keshepa, and he was practicing medicine in the small Rameshwara village. After his wife died, he told the police that she had been suffering from low blood pressure and that he gave her an injection of drugs to try to help. Unfortunately, he said the drugs made her sick and she died en route to the hospital. After that, his dead wife's parents lodged a complaint saying that the daughter had actually been murdered. When the police went to investigate, they found that the doctor had connections to black magic practitioners in the area and had been busted performing bizarre ceremonies before. In an absolutely horrific revelation, police discovered that he used his wife as a human sacrifice, which he had been hoping would result in getting some treasure. In other words, he killed his wife to appease dark spirits with the hope that they would reward him with riches. It really makes you wonder how this guy even made it through medical school. Number 2. Under Anesthesia Frederick Field was a doctor in Oregon, but he wasn't a very good one. He was accused of abusing his patients while they were under anesthesia. The accusations turned out to be true, and he was sentenced to spend 23 years in prison. Anyone who's ever had to be put under the doctor's office or the dentist's office has probably wondered once or twice what the dog is doing while he's sleeping in the chair. If you were one of the patients of Frederick Field, the answer is that he was doing stuff to you while you were passed out. And while Frederick did this to quite a few people, the straw that broke the camel's back was a 66-year-old woman in 2011. This woman, who hasn't been identified for privacy reasons, underwent surgery at the Mid-Columbia Medical Center. Frederick was her doctor. The very instant that she woke up and was able to talk, she informed the other doctors that Frederick had done things to her while he thought she was out cold. He had gotten sloppy and a little too brave, and the woman knew exactly what he did. What's really terrifying is only when the elderly lady finally made a huge fuss was when the hospital took this conduct seriously. Frederick had originally gotten his license to practice in the state of Oregon in 2005. After getting his medical degree from the Tulane University School of Medicine in 1998, when his time in court came around, one of the earliest accusations was from 2007. This means he didn't wait very long before he started his reign of terror. In the end, 12 patients came forward and Frederick pleaded guilty to every single one of them. Number 1. Road Trip Killer A doctor from Oklahoma, a seemingly ordinary man, was arrested by the Arkansas State Police for committing murder on a road trip. Tyler Tate was taking a vacation with one of his colleagues, Moria Kinsey. She was an emergency room nurse at the same hospital where Tyler worked. A few miles north of Lake Village in Arkansas, Moria Kinsey's body was found on the side of Highway 65. She was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead the following day. An investigation revealed that she and the doctor had just traveled to Mississippi together and that they had gotten into some sort of altercation. The investigation also revealed that Tyler Tate has a history of domestic violence. A woman named Shelley Burris had requested a restraining order against him just earlier that year. But of course, Tyler violated that order, later being charged with domestic abuse, assault, and violence. Nobody knows what happened out there yet, especially since the doctor has lawyered up. But judging by his long string of domestic charges going back nearly a decade, he got mad and Moria got dead. As of right now, we're still waiting on the results on the autopsy to give us a cause of death. What's the worst experience you've ever had with a doctor? Let us know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching today's video. Remember to hit subscribe and come back soon for some more great stuff from the channel. See you next time. Bye.